here from Zer. And it's Rafi from Zer. And welcome to this month's Responsive, Responsive Reading. Reading. This month's episode is all about Flexbox. Flexbox. And not just because I get excited about Flexbox. But I get excited about Flexbox. But also because the brand new XY Grid coming out in Foundation 6.4 is built using Flexbox. Now you may or may not know that Foundation already had a Flexbox Grid, so Cable, how is this different? Yes, the XY grid is amazing because it lets you build things not only in the X dimension, but lay things out precisely in the Y dimension, letting you build advanced application style layouts with just a few lines of HTML. It's almost as powerful as CSS grid, but unlike CSS grid, you can use it today in every browser you care about. Now, I bet there's more to it than just that. Oh yes, there's more. So not only is it flex first, going X, going Y, but you can precisely control the, the margin spacing of your different cells, the padding of your different cells in both dimensions. It's incredible. It is incredible, and you can use it right now. We set up a code pen with the new XY grid. You can play with it in the browser. Speaking of CodePen, CodePen is our sponsor for this responsive reading, and they have some amazing stuff they've just come out with. The new CodePen Projects feature is awesome. It's like a full-on build system right in your browser. Yeah, you can build multiple pages, use layouts, use uh, SAS, use compile to JavaScript languages, all sorts of stuff, never have to touch a build system, and you can even ship it to production right there just using CodePen. We love CodePen, we teach with it, we use it all the time, it's great, so check it out. So another amazing thing about Foundation 6.4 is that Foundation is gonna be Flexbox first. So what that means is not only is the XY grid gonna be the default grid, but all the components will be flex mode by default. So that's really an amazing step forward. Now don't worry, if you still have to support IE9, first off, sorry, that sucks. But you can still get back to float mode if you have to. So if you've been waiting to learn about Flexbox or you've been just pushing it off, now's the time. So we put 10 links down below to help you learn Flexbox. These are 10 of our favorite resources on Flexbox. Visual examples, examples in use, and full guides. So definitely check that out. It'll really help you learn Flexbox really fast. And you will get excited. You will learn why I get so pumped up about Flexbox. So Flexbox is amazing. Foundation 6.4 is coming out the end of this month. And if you want to get a jump start on it, next Tuesday, June 13th, we're going to be teaching an Intro to Foundation webinar covering all of Foundation, but also giving you the sneak peek guided tour into the new XY grid. So check it out. So that's it for this week. Make sure you check out the links below. Make sure you hit subscribe because there's going to be a lot more content on Flexbox coming out in the coming weeks. And thanks for watching.